Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a mid-February reading. This We are going to start with Taurus, mid-February. We're going to see whatever comes up. Remember, this is for the middle of February. This may not be for you. It may or may not be, and you know, I focus on love, so right around Valentine's Day, give or take some time, you know, this is when this reading is for. Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We're going to get one of these for an overall energy and one of these, and then we're going to use that deck right there. Taurus, mid-February. Update. Love. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Ooh. The world. The last card. Somebody has completed a chapter. And this is something that was really prominent in their life, okay? It's over. It's over. I mean, that this is uh, really stepping over that finish line. It's like a lesson has been learned. Somebody has completed a journey, okay? Th one really prominent phase, has, it's over. It's done. Now we have a major new beginning here because somebody has learned some sort of lesson. Biggest completion. You know, you think about the fool. The fool is the very first cards where the fool starts the journey and has to go through all the struggle, all the ups and downs, and then we get to the end. We're at the end. We're at the end of the struggle. Whatever you needed to learn, it's over. <laughs> and now we have the fool on the bottom. Son of, now See, it's over. And now we got a major new beginning here. Starting fresh again. Starting at zero again. It's over. The worst, the period, the time where, you know... There was despair, there was, there was heartache, there was uh, emptiness. It's over. Somebody is having a new beginning because they've completed that cycle. So congratulations. You know, the last card to the first card. Here we go. Congratulations. You've successfully completed one life lesson. Let's get one of these. Taurus, sun, moon, rising, and Venus. One card. Union. No way. No way. So, yes way. <laughs> Union. Coming together with somebody. That's what you got to look forward to in February. Maybe you're just going to start the communication in February. I don't know. Maybe you're actually going to come into Union with somebody. But this is... Beautiful. Okay. So this is the focus for middle of February. We have a new beginning here where, you know, a union is two people. Right? So I feel like we are, we are transitioning from perhaps one to two. We do have a new beginning here, though, either way. I'm not going to take those. That was my mistake. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Woohoo! Did I say Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn? This is for Taurus.
You could be dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, though. That could certainly be the case. This is for Taurus. That's your perfect match. Taurus, Virgo, Cap Capricorn. It really is. like you guys are letting go of a situation you know somebody that brought you down you're letting it go dropping it too many power struggles there you can't win with this person anyway might as well let it go might as well let it slip away yeah it's like no longer in denial, no longer wearing a mask, making that heartfelt, uh, hurtful decision to just drop it. It's not stable. It's not secure. It's painful. There's too much conflict. This person has brought, somebody brought you to your knees. Now he's, there's two swords here and two, and it's like now I see it. I see it. I see that this isn't anything I even want. I don't want it. And I don't think that you're, you want to, you know, be in hiding anymore. It's like, no, I don't want to, I don't want to, I don't want to hide my true feelings. I don't want to seclude myself. You know, we definitely have a union here that is coming about because somebody is coming out of a period of denial. They are coming out of some sort of repression that somebody else put them in. No doubt. Now twos are twos are unions. Two, two, and it looks like eleven, eleven, right? That's what it looks like. We definitely have a partnership that is coming together. After somebody has decided to let go of a really painful situation, I accept. I accept the truth, and I don't want this anymore. Yeah, somebody's not putting in effort. They're giving up. They've totally given up on a really difficult situation with another person that was very egotistical. And all, they had to win on all counts. It wasn't about any kind of working together. You know, I think that they were dealing with a person that couldn't share, that couldn't give. And now it's like, I'm wide awake. I'm wide awake. And I'm not going to sit here and be silent and live in denial anymore. Judgment call. Absolutely. Ooh. Somebody has been taken advantage of and been unable to, you know, open their heart, unable to start over, unable to take any risks. They lost faith. And now it's like they're rising up from the ashes, rising up from rock bottom. That's what we got here. I accept. I release. And I'm going to live again. It's time for me to live again. So it looks to me like somebody is giving up on a situation where, you know, they weren't respected. They weren't appreciated no matter what they did. And it's like now they've woken up. They have. This person that broke them helped them to wake up. Oh, my. 
my goodness. Looks to me like the worst is over. It's the end of a difficult time. That's what this is. It's an end of a difficult time. Somebody was dealing with an egotistical son of a bitch who was self-centered and ruthless, didn't appreciate them, <laughs> didn't want to give to the relationship. And it's like, I'm not going to be trapped here. I'm breaking this chain. It's over. This is the end of a difficult situation. I'm living again. I'm going to live again. This is the phoenix rising from the ashes. It really is. After naively holding on to a painful situation. Holding on to the pain. Protecting themselves. It's like, no, I don't need to protect myself anymore. I'm ready. Yep, somebody is letting go of a situation that was dissatisfying and unrealistic. It's like all of a sudden they wake up. And it's a sudden. It is sudden. It's like all of a sudden they wake up with a new mindset. This is over. It's over. You gotta look at this, okay? This pain that somebody has put you through is over. It's at the end. It's over. Now, it's like, I'm rising up. I'm, I'm going to live again. I accept. I forgive. I release. And this is, it is definitely sudden. We have a sudden awakening here. I'm standing up for myself. You don't win. You think you win, but you don't. So it's like somebody's giving up on a situation where they wasted time. They wasted time investing energy and, you know, um, trying to make it work. They, they waited and waited and waited and waited for some sort of reconciliation. It's like, no, no. No, this is dissatisfying. I don't need to deal with your ego. I don't need to deal with your self-centeredness. I don't need to deal with your um, lack of appreciation. It's over. It's over. Somebody has definitely decided to just live again. I mean, oh, I don't say that very often, so... Somebody's releasing the past. And it's like a secret is being revealed. They've had some sort of revelation. Okay? They have. It's like all of a sudden it's like, boom, I'm awake. I'm awake. I get it. I got it. I wasted my time here. Now, what did this person learn? This person learned something from this because we have that universe card. You know, a lesson was learned about self-worth. Somebody needed to find their mental strength and their courage to replace fear with faith and fight opposition. You see, these are opposing. They were dealing with an opponent that constantly wanted to fight. And it's like now... And this person, whoever it was, you got to see with the cards, this person, whoever it was, they were like mental, okay? They were mental. It's like they, they love opposition. They love it. They thrive on it. They turned a person's life, whoever this person was, they turned this person's life upside down, trying to control them. This person caused a loss of direction for quite some time. You know, they had so caused a loss of direction for you, Taurus, because 
they wanted to control so badly. And I think that you probably allowed it. You allowed it. But it's like, you know what? Now I'm awake. Now I'm awake. And I think that somebody is deciding that it's time to come out of my shell. It's definitely time to come out of hiding. I don't want to be alone anymore. So I feel like somebody has definitely decided to take back their power from this person who really brought them down. It was all power trip. It was all definitely a power trip. It's like, no, 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 no. I see, I, I see that there's no victory and success there. I see that there's nothing solid. I see that this is all based on ego and it's time for me to accept, release, forgive, and end this. Yeah, I'd ra this is very doing quite well. This is like, I know what I'm worth. I have a lot to offer, and I know that. This is, this is a independent person who's very, very abundant, that has an offer right in her hand. I'm good. I'm good. Enjoying life. Very independent disciplined. We have somebody here that has probably been single for quite some time or they're they need to be. This could go cuz this is for thousands and thousands of people. This is somebody that is single, independent and doing very very well. They've great gained a lot of wisdom through solitude, dealing with this painful situation and now it's like, oh my god. Now it's like they are right where they need to be on their own. It's like, I'm good. I'm good where I'm at. They've worked hard. Somebody has worked really, really, really hard to heal. Put in a lot of effort to get over this person who, whose ego was through the roof, okay? We got somebody whose ego was like, wow. I mean, huge, huge, huge. And this person was such a manipulator that they, they brought opposition into the relationship to control. And it worked for a while. It did work. But it's like this person has found their ability to bring stability and abundance back to their life by hard work and effort. By not putting in energy to this. I'm trying to be nice. This person. <laughs> and um, it's like, yeah, I'm giving up. I'm giving up on that. I'm not interested in that whatsoever. I see that I have a better opportunity. Somebody has a better opportunity for love and it looks to me as though they are no longer wanting or hoping or holding on to any kind of desire that the past is going to work out. I see a release here. I do. I see a release of a very painful, hurtful situation. Somebody has gained a lot of strength and they've gained a lot of abundance and self-worth and self-love and gratitude for the lessons that they have learned it's like I, I am grateful I'm grateful for that because it made me stronger you know um, it looks to me like you may not be wanting to give your heart away to anybody at this time right now because you're not ready you're not ready. You're not ready to get in a partnership. I mean, you have an opportunity for a partnership. This two is reversed. This two is reversed. And this page of cups reversed. Two is a partnership. It's like, and here we have this two of cups. It's like, you have an opportunity for love, but there may be some fear involved. With the fool reverse, fear of taking a risk, fear of starting over with anybody because it looks like you're not really giving your heart away.
even though there is an opportunity. It's like, I'm good. I'm working on my abundance. I'm working on my job. I'm working on me. I'm working on my health. I'm working on everything but love right now. And isn't that the way it goes, though? When you are working on everything but love and you're enjoying life and you're getting up every morning and you're smiling and you're just going about your day and you're really not looking, well, here it comes. There it is. That's the way it goes. You could meet somebody, if you haven't met this person already, for, from your work, through your job. You could meet somebody through your job. But you may not want to move forward with anybody because you just need to be alone right now. Maybe you're just like, I'm, 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 I'm healing still or I'm going through some sort of uh, introspection to the point where, you know, I can't invest. I can't invest in love right now. I just can't. I got too much going on. You know, I'm good. I'm good on my own. I'm really good on my own. I don't have anything that I can give to you right now. But now we have this, I mean, judgment call. The judgment is a judgment call. You've got to make a choice of some sort. You've got to make a judgment call as to whether you want a partnership or not. Do you want to be single or do you want a union? Do you, what do you want? That's, that is what this is about. So is there somebody new coming in for Taurus? Or what is this story about? What is going on here? We do have a new beginning here. So, I mean, we do. We do. Starting fresh. But you got to have faith. And the world is... You, this may be somebody, you know, that's a little farther away. I mean, the world is at underneath her. The world is at her feet. I mean, it's a great big world out there. So this could be somebody that is lives in a different area when you see the world card. Okay, this person could be at a distance from you. But let's talk about love. Let's talk about who, what, what the hell. Ooh, the Empress Reverse. Somebody doesn't want to deal with any pain. Doesn't, somebody is like trying to... Somebody's not allowing growth. They're not allowing something beautiful into their life. What the hell? Why? Too much. There's just too much going on. Somebody's just not ready. You know, there's still some healing that needs to be done, apparently. Somebody's just not ready. Mm, they've been hurt really badly by another person. Somebody has been abused, okay, whether it's verbally, mentally, whatever. They've been abused to the point where it's like, this is like mental abuse, verbal abuse, could be even physical, whatever. Somebody has been abused to the point where it's like, they don't even know their worth, and that's why they're going through this nine of coins situation. It's like, I need to heal. I need to find my self-worth again. They're working hard on healing from this person that, whatever, belittled them, stole their power, brought them to their knees. We have an abusive relationship that has ended and caused somebody to retreat from opening their heart and really focus on their abundance, really focus on themselves, trying to heal, trying to you know, pick themselves back up again. It looks like it's working. The worst is over. You have somebody here that wants to come together with you, but you have to allow it. Let your guard down. Have faith. We have Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. We have Taurus. We have Virgo. We have... Pisces, we have Aries, 
Leo, Sagittarius. We have Scorpio. We have Cancer. We have everybody, don't we? We do. We do. So somebody is not opening their heart because they're afraid to be taken advantage of again. But they have an opportunity to travel. There's travel involved here to a new destination and unite. But there's fear. There's fear of getting hurt. There's there's un distrust. I don't trust. I don't trust. There could be, I don't know where this came from, a child or somebody in the mix that is holding them back. Okay, this is a child. There, okay, there could be a child that is hindering or children or something that is hindering a... Union. Whew. Jeez, I'm girl. There is some sort of something is being somebody's hiding something. It's like they they want something. This could be somebody from your past that is. It's not. He's got the five of swords in his hand. That is hiding the truth about a situation. Hiding how they truly feel. Maybe they're watching you. And you're still feeling their energy. Because they're still watching you. It's like you're being. Uh, what's the word for it? Sabotaged. You know. Mentally sabotaged by this person. Oh, held hostage. By their energy. That's what it looks like. It looks like you know. Somebody is unable to step out of their fear because of the person that deceived them. Not wanting to ha deal with any pain again. This person is still in control. The person that brought you to your knees is still in control. Because now you have this new opportunity for love and you're not taking it. You're not taking it because of fear. Fear that this other person is going to hurt you like they did. So yeah, we have a new opportunity for love and it's time to break that chain with this abusive situation. Who is this new person and what should they do? Who is this new person and what should they do? Mm -hmm. It's not the King of Cups, thank God. Okay, the King of Cups, this person, I don't know who it is. Whoever is the one that couldn't love you. You have somebody else. You got somebody else that will. This person with, was withdrawn, controlling, manipulative. They are still watching. They are definitely still watching. And they're not happy with what they see. But they they can't do anything about it because they're like a narcissist, okay? And they've caused a lot of bitterness. They've caused a lot of anger. They've caused a lot of resent. And now, you know, you're going to have to look at things differently. You've got somebody else. It doesn't just because this person hurt you and they couldn't love you doesn't mean that you have to that you don't have to love anybody else, you know, that you have to push everybody else away. You're gonna get what you deserve, and so aren't they. Karma's a bitch. There's no wish fulfillment with the person that didn't love you. Let them go. Let them go. Don't let them steal your hope because you should have hope. You're a star. You may be thinking that this person is going to come back for a reconciliation. This person is a narcissist.
they can't communicate. And even if they did, you don't want them. There's no hope for wish fulfillment. They didn't love you in the past. What makes you think they would love you now? You need to look at something from a new perspective. You want somebody who's going to bring balance to your life. Not the one that is going to charm the pants off you, then break you. You need to hold your head up high. Find that force within you. To rise up, okay? Rise up. Prove. Be proud. Be proud of who you are. Don't let yourself be cheated by a narcissist who didn't love you. Show them what you're made of. You're going to get what you deserve. But I don't, th and so aren't they. <laughs> that judgment is a karma card. It's right in the middle and it's connected to them. It's connected. They are going to get their karma. Trust me. You cannot cheat and lie to another person and expect it to just go away. It doesn't work like that. It doesn't. Getting, they're going to get what they deserve and so aren't you. This is a blessing in disguise that it didn't work out. Hold your head up high. Relight that fire within. And go on a new adventure. Be spontaneous. Be open to the possibilities. You're going to be looking very, very, very attractive this month. But I really don't, and I think that you probably will receive some sort of offer of of love or romance from somebody. You probably will. But I'm not sure you're going to take it. Because it feels like you haven't completely healed from this narcissist. And so therefore you're probably not really going to accept love this month. I'm sorry, I'm not going to, I'm not going to pretend that you are. Let's do a sneak peek for March, you want to? Let's do a sneak peek for March. Let's talk about March for a second. Let's use this deck. What about March? Just a little sneak peek. What about March? Will they accept love in March? Will they accept love in March? Oh, wish fulfillment in March? Nine of Cups. That is, that's like getting what you want. Having it all. Happiness. Happiness in March. One more card. Victory and success being recognized. Look at all the people that are seeing you in March. It's like, oh my God, you're the freaking, you're the shit. In March, one more card. Oh, coming out of isolation. Seeing the light. It's like coming down off of your mountain. I don't want to be alone anymore. So, enlightenment. Your confidence boosts in February. And in March, you're going to be recognized. And you're going to be really, really happy. It's like coming out. Coming out of that loneliness. You've healed. Now, I don't know. I think you've truly all the way healed. Because, it, I mean, it takes time to heal. Yeah, somebody's like rushing in. Action. Taking action. So in March, things change. Fast. This is very fast. This is the, this is the page of wands. I mean, or the uh, knight of wands. Sorry. Things change very quickly in March. So it looks to me like you are headed towards something really good that's going to make you happy. But in February, I think you're probably going to be turning down any offers of love. Because you're really, truly ending a difficult situation with a narcissist. 
and you're starting at zero. The worst is completely over. You may be traveling. You may be just doing a lot of traveling in March. And that's what I see, Taurus. I mean, I see that you're not, I don't think that you're giving your heart away because you're bringing balance back to your life and you're not going to accept anything less than you deserve. Uh, that's evident here. I will not accept anything less than I deserve. So somebody is, is going on their own. They're staying on their own in February. I don't see anybody accepting any false promises. Wise enough to know better. Good luck.